are interested pangs of betting. The newly launched Southwest security outfit, codenamed Amotekum, has begun to face problems as the federal government has described it as illegal. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, stated that security remains the exclusive preserve of the federal government. However, Nobel laureate Wale Shuinka has said that the initiative has come to stay. Still with me in the studio, Sam Adeliki. Thank you very much for staying. Pleasure. And of course, Obi Adjegbo. Thank you very much for staying. Mm. He is the um, AGF, Attorney General <laughs> of the, the Chief Federation. Law Officer. He should know the law. And he's coming out to say that this is illegal. Let me quote a piece uh, from what he said. He said, no state government, whether singly or in group, has the legal right and competence to establish any form of organization or agency for the defense of Nigeria or any of its uh, constituent parts. You're a legal person. Do you agree with this position? I beg to differ. You see, there's a thin line, section um, item 45 of the exclusive right, as exclusive list, says they can set up, uh, they can set up police, they can set up army established by law. A motorcycle is not established by law. It's just an organization set up, number one. And then number two, section 14.2b states that the governor has the right to provide security and take care of the welfare of the people. How can they now provide security when, when unknown pe persons are, are coming to their, to their farmyards, killing people, raping them, kidnapping them? For how long would this be? And on the other side of it is, up in, in Meduguri, They've, they've, they've set up a security item. I, there was a picture I saw. He's up with a woman with a, an AK-47 or a gun. I don't know about guns. Let me not say what I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to uh, that. We'll to let me not say what I yeah. don't know. Then they have the civilian JTF. They have his, his bar and all these things. So why is it one, one rule for this, one rule for this? Why not tell everybody that, look, you want to set up this. Let us all sit down and let's draw parameters. Yeah, for I'm it. actually going to get to that question because it's pretty crucial. A lot of persons have yeah. brought up that part of the conversation. But before we get there, I want to ask you uh, the, <laughs> the part of the statement <laughs> that said the law will take its natural course. course. Some persons are describing it as a subtle threat to the Southwest government. Mm. Do you see okay. that as the case? I think this is just um, blowing out hair. Why, why do I say so? Um, APC makes the larger population of the Southwest governors, and those that attended the launch of this um, Amoteko um, inauguration was we had um, Ekiti governor, we had Undo governor, we also had who Oyo. again? Oyo, Oyo's governor. I mean the APC now. Mm. Now, why did those two attend? They attended because they are on their second term. They are coming in second and they have no more obligations to the federal government. Lagos governor did not show up. Um, Ogo. Ogo did not show up. Oshun did not show mm. up. Now, that was simply a political move um, showing allegiance to the center. But let's, let's look at it this way. Why well, does that suggest a division within the government? Of course. The, the, the it, 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 it's, so, it's so clear. It's so clear. But then, the question oh, to the no, police no, is, no, what, no, what, no, what were they looking at when they had the first meeting? When they, were, they, when they announced that they were going to have a launch? Mm. Why didn't they stop them from meeting? You know, we, we just do this, we, we play with politics so much in our country at detriment of the main issues. Are people dying in the Southwest? Yes or no? In fact, the climax of this, why was it set up? When the daughter of Chief Ruben Fashionante died last year, they were like, okay, now we have to take a decisive move. Is it until daughters and children of people in high places lose their life? On, is, is, that, is that the point at which you will now take decisions like this? So I think that the governors should go to court. They have nothing to fear. They are the yeah, chief. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, I know this conversation <laughs> is headed in a different direction, but I must ask you about yes. this uh, seeming division within the ranks of the Southwest governors. You just highlighted something that some of them were no-show at the launch of this. Does it already imply that the organization of this operation itself is already flawed and on a divided ground. What then is the sustainability? If you add that to what the NGF chairman, he gave an interview and he mm. said that it was a collective decision and they will wait to meet for them to respond to what the AGF had said. So if you are implying <laughs> that there is division, does that mean that it's dead on arrival? Now, the division I'm talking about is just on a surface level. 
it's, it's a case of being silent. Now, the Lagos governor, the Ogun governor, and the Ocean governor, they've not um, publicly distributed themselves from that. They've only been silent. So it's a game of politics. They agree. They believe in the spirit and the letter of Amoteko. But because they do not want to be seen, has as been exactly as confrontational to the federal government, they are simply being silent. So the, the question is, what can now be done to ensure that this is sustainable? It's you know, you know, in battles like this, it is those who are willing to put their necks on the line that should that should keep it going. I'm sure they'll already be missing in that. But see, guys, I can't come back because I'm loyal. I have a second term. But that, 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 so that, should, should that the takes away the bite of the energy mm. and, uh, you know, the vibration you know, political and the support experience. that the uh, Amoteco and, 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 has gotten. And, and survival instincts because they want to remain, really? you know, relevant. They I, I would want to, us to explore that part of the conversation, but we really have limited time for um, talking about this. I'll just go straight to uh, the next legal angle that I wanted to look at. Now, the statement made a point of highlighting that the office of the AGF was not consulted before the decision to uh, create this uh, Amoteco was taken. On the one hand, states that the state governments are not allowed. Like we said when we began this conversation, nobody, no group is uh, permitted to create. FG has exclusive preserve when it comes mm. to the defense and security. They should have been aware of the move because if you have exclusive preserve of security your security advisors would have given you an idea that this is being set up why is it that they waited shouldn't it have been a more logical move um, for a security conscious government to liaise with them before the launch to avoid presenting this statement at this time when the chief law officer the chief security officer of a country goes to a place and has meetings with governors. What other information, what other, what other, must they call the IG, um, IGF and tell him, we're having this meeting, this is what we did. Everything about Amoteco was publicized, everything. They had a big, they had, a, they had two, I think, two or three meetings, right. large meetings. They unveiled the logo. They unveiled the logo. They so the you are a legal mind. So <laughs> why is it that the AGF is reacting after the fact and not before the fact, if they truly were preemptive? Mm. And of course, we, we, everybody agrees that there is a need mm. for a move. Yeah. Right. Where the police is underfunded. Mm. What alternatives are there? No, the alternative the government is warning is that first of all they withdrew licenses for guns and say if you have a if you have a gun like an AK forty seven, you are you're you'll be arrested. But the Maruda's have more than AK forty seven <laughs> and they've not been arrested. That's number one. Then number two, this this I think this is a this is a, a case of who blinks first. It's a case of who blinks first because the AGF must have known, they must have discussed it, they must have told him un unofficially and whatnot because of the uh, amount of form fair they made about it. If it was like a secret meeting and there wasn't form fair, you know. they would have said yes, it, 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 they, they, then their, their, their reasons must be very um, fishy. Suspicious. But yeah. now it's not. So he, what, what they do is, you see, that's why I love the court. That's why the Supreme Court is there. On, mem on matters of constitutional requirements. They should go for interpretation. And they should please, 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 please. There are things that should not be on exclusive risk of this government for Nigeria to move on. And one of them is police. Okay, um, the Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum have also spoken, um, among other issues, mm. they talked about the fact that the decision um, by the um, AGF to issue this statement was just uh, a perfunctory um, move and that the Southwest governors should ignore um, the um, AGF. Mm. Is that an option? Is it a wise? I think I think they should just follow that because this is theatrics. Mm -hmm. Like like she had mentioned earlier, the government, the public, the Nigerian populace, everyone was aware of the timeline for the launch and takeoff of Amoteco. You know, so when the AGF comes to make this kind of statement, just say, okay, so we have Ed. Next, moving on. And let's keep doing our work. But because he is saying that it is illegal. Shouldn't the, the governors be considering the, such options? They have to look at the guidelines for the setup of Amoteco. Amoteco is not a state police. 
It is not. It is just, uh, I lived in, a, in an area in, Nigeria, in Lagos. For 12 years, the OPC, we were paying them um, security bill. And no armed robber came there one day. No armed robber. So what they're doing now is they know the nooks and crannies of the place. They live there. You cannot bring somebody from Medugri right. to come to Oshun State to now tell you um, this is this is the Appian way we pass or this thing. They, and they're hunters there in the bush. They know the way. They know how to trace these kidnappers. So the, first of all, they have to sit down and tell them these are the guidelines. They'll be trained. They're not a police. They work with the police. If they have leads, if they have follow-up, they'll call the police to take over. If they arrest anybody, we all have rights. Citizens arrest. It, it's there for all of us. So they have the right to do citizens arrest and do it. So I don't see why, why, why all this uprise. But... I'm still staying uh, with the um, comments made by that forum. Um, I want to refer to a report from Jigawa State mm -hmm. that highlighted the fact that for the year 2019, uh, 14 suspected gay men and 12 rapists across 27 local government areas in the state were um, arrested by the Hizba board. Mm -hmm. We also know that some of them carry arms. Some of them do carry arms. Yes. Then we have the civilian JTF. The group is asked, the forum is asking um, that the federal government should explain why Amote Kum's security outfit is considered illegal, why the one in the north isn't. <laughs> isn't. Um, uh, okay, let me put that question to you quickly. You know, that this, this kind of um, scenario justifies the fact or the assertion that Nigeria you know, can be compared to an animal farm in which you know, um, some, animals, some are animals are more equal than mm -hmm. others. These examples are laid bare. We don't have short memories. These are things operating in different parts of the country. And the situation is, is all over. At some point, we were thinking that the Earth's men won't get to the West. But now they got there and we saw what, 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 is, what was being done. So I, I do think that those who are going to be representing the governors in the court, while this, if the AGF chooses to take them to court, should simply lay bare this evidence, law, the law of evidence, and things. This will I, I, I don't think this is an issue for me. It's not an issue because it is so crystal clear. What's the way forward? Because the, way the, the, the West, uh, Southwestern governors say they're going to have a meeting mm -hmm. and they're going to respond. What is the way forward and what are their options? You see, the South, South, and the South East and the Middle Belt are rooting for the Southwest to succeed. Right. Because it will open up the ways for other regions to have theirs. And then restructuring is and, happening. And then restructuring you know, is happening piecemeal, 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 piecemeal. That's number one. Revolution. Then number two, the way forward is for us all to bring out that co national conference thing and sit down and say, okay, they said this, can we do it? They said this, they can. We cannot be, we cannot be masterminded from Abuja anymore. It's failed. So it, it's, it's time we, we now sat down and look for a way forward so that everybody will enjoy this country. Will Amoteko live or die? It will live mm. if the governors keep at it and they don't give up easily. Thank you very much for your thoughts. <laughs> All right, we'll take our PLOS report now. And when we return, I will be giving my take. Do stay with us. There was massive jubilation on the streets of Abuja on Tuesday as the Supreme Court declared Senator Hope Uzodima governor-elect of Imo State. The nation's apex court ruled that the March 19, 2019 governorship polls in Imo State was marred by unlawful exclusion of votes from about 388 polling units, mandating that they should be added to the vote tally of Senator Uzodima. Thank you. 
that it is not a complaint about unity, but a complaint about collision of results. And that if the 213 votes, since 95 votes have been added, that it was Hope Uzo Dima who scored the highest number of votes and had the required criminal spread. The Supreme Court has so pronounced, and we give all glory to God Almighty who made it happen. We want to say that the God of Imo State has spoken. Yes. This evening, distinguished Senator Pope Uzodima yes. has finally been declared the elected governor of Imo State. Yes. This is a story that has been in the communities in Imo State that Hope Uzodima won the election. Manipulations, we lost the election. But now, today, the Supreme Court has finally declared, has looked at all the issues and has declared Hope Musadima the elected governor of Imo State. At this point in time, all we need to do is to thank Almighty God for restoring hope to Imo State. Why? If we are to believe the Attorney General, did the federal government have to wait to be consulted instead of challenging the constitutionality of Amoteku at the point of birth? Instead of waiting until after its launch and after billions of Naira had been spent? I would think that such an effort, as flawed as it may be, should get some credit as an effort to assist the federal government who obviously is struggling with securing all territories of this country, shouldn't they be more supportive instead of confrontational? I'm concerned about what happens next, as I am sure you are too. I guess we'll have to wait for the outcome of the yet to be scheduled meeting of the Southwest governors in response to the AGF's statement. Away from that, special kudos to officers and men from both sides of the Nigerian civil war who laid down their lives for a course they believed in and to those who continue even today to fight insecurity and safeguard the lives of the people of this country. Thank you. For those officers, however, both past and present, who engage in unprofessional conduct and harassment of civilians, shame on you. You will get your punishment. It is just a matter of time. That's my take tonight. I thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow. Until then, Please be well.